Let's make this country great again. That's the campaign slogan being used by Donald Trump, the uh, current forerunner and potential Republican nominee for the presidential race next year. Now, every time I hear him say those words, it makes me think about what Mr. Trump and his supporters really mean by great again. Now, I'm guessing they're using various definitions that define great as excellent, fine, much more than ordinary, wonderful, first rate, very good, having unusual merit, very admirable, and of course the descriptives can go on and on. So I wonder what going back to greatness will actually look like, or at least what their idea of going back to greatness will look like. Now, I assume they couldn't be talking about the great origins of this country when we actually stole an indigenous people's land from them and our own federal troops forced the relocation of millions of Native American Indians to reservations, resulting in what was referred to as the Trail of Tears, one of the darkest chapters in American history. Now, that couldn't be the great country he's referring to. And I hope they're not talking about the great distinction our country has of being the first and only country to drop atomic weapons on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, thereby killing tens of thousands of Japanese civilians. No, I hope that's not the greatness he means. And I definitely hope that he's not talking about the great country that received free labor for over 400 years off the backs of millions of legally enslaved African peoples, denying them any and all rights as human beings and citizens of this great country. And of course, every ugly, vile, immoral, and ungodly thing that went along with slavery. No, that certainly wouldn't be what he's referring to. So maybe he's talking about a new greatness. Maybe he's talking about a country that puts people over profits, that changes the appropriate distinction this country has of leading the world in incarceration rates, mostly of black men and people of color, in a prison industrial complex that creates profits for its shareholders. Well, maybe he's talking about returning this country to a nation that is truly under God with liberty and justice for all. Perhaps he's talking about putting the in God we trust back in our schools, and instead of telling Jorge Ramos to go back to Univision, tell the NRA to go to hell. And I, for one, hope he's talking about making America a place where a presidential candidate has the intestinal fortitude and moral compass to not let bigoted racists yell out white power at a town hall meeting and remain unchecked. By great, maybe Mr. Trump means turning the words of the Declaration of Independence that say we hold these truths to be self-evident. We just that, self-evident. Now that would be great.